And again, this side's really dark, this side's really bright. And then because I did more work on this side, I could actually start doing the highlights that I worked on here with the eye. And this is just a pure white with a, a really stiff um, edge brush. And that's where I'm going in and then just doing some minor highlight details. And as soon as this side's done, I'll work on this side, getting it kind of structured the way I want it to look. And then I'll go in there doing the shadows that I did here and then going back in and doing the highlights. I've also noticed that my spiral on this side is going right and I try to do that on this side too but they should actually go outward. So I'm actually going to paint over this a little bit with my darks and lights and then go back putting my spirals in this direction.
how you would paint a dragon skull. Um, again, a lot of it is just putting down the foundation of where the skull is going to be, the shape of the face, and then going over it with the shading. And you know, like having a light source, you could see that my light source is still in this right side corner. That's why everything here is highlighted and everything on this side is all dark. Last thing you want to do before you call it a finished painting is your signature. Well, thank you for watching. I hope your dragon painting turned out just to be as awesome as mine or better. I would love to see your photos on Facebook if you follow me on the link below to my Facebook account. And I also sell all my artwork as prints on society6.com. That's also listed below in the links. I sell prints, I sell pillows, I sell t-shirts, and we do have these new cool travel mugs for your coffee or drinks that you like to travel with. If you follow me on Facebook, you will receive links of promos so you can get free shipping on some things or $5 off or 20% off. So I highly recommend to follow me on Facebook to keep up with those great deals in case you want any of my stuff.